Hello everyone, it is your girl, Boss Lady Lexi. How is everyone doing today? Welcome, welcome, welcome to this video. In this video today, I will be talking about what has been going on with all of these doctor's appointments that I have been going to and uh, what else has been going on in my life as far as social media is concerned um i just want to thank everyone for hanging in there and sticking through um this phase of me being on youtube it's been a journey i could tell y'all it has really really been a journey however it has been a good journey it has been a journey of awakening a journey of growing and a journey of forgiving and that's what's most important, forgiving and loving each and every one of you all. Today's um, video is uh, really serious. Um, I've never had any of this, um, these things to come up ever in my life. Um, but it is here now and we are addressing the issue to see exactly what is going on. Thank God that I did go to see my um, OBGYN and get my mammogram. Um, my mammogram came back just fine, perfect as it always does. Um, there was a little problems with um, my OBGYN appointment, so she sent me to get an ultrasound. And with going to get that ultrasound, I was um, with the impression of, I don't know what I'm going for. Um, I might as well just not go and, you know, just make another appointment and cancel. But I went on anyway. And the fact of me going on um, with the appointment, um, the nurse, I will never forget her name. Her name was Victoria. I asked her what her name was. She was very rude. She was, oh my gosh, she was so, so rude and nasty. And I couldn't, you know, understand why. Now, the old me would have cussed her out from head to toe and, you know, would have made her cry, okay? I would have really flipped the script on her, but I didn't. I just looked at it as she's a person that's probably overstressed. And, you know, I said I was going to report her, but I didn't report her because I just felt like maybe she had a bad day or something to that effect. But needless to say, her rudeness was just all done. You know, um, she had the little legs hanging out, um, which I felt like she should not have had those legs hanging out until, you know, I was properly on the table so that she could do what she needed to get done. So once I was on the table, um, she was like, um, I don't even know where your hole is. I don't know. I can't even see it. So I don't even know if we're going to even get this procedure done today. Now, mind you, my legs was not in the stirrups or anything at this particular point. So she went on over to another part of the station in the room and she was fumbling some stuff. Then she came back and she was like, okay, well, can you scoot down some more? So I scooted down as far as I could scoot down and you know put my legs up in the little stir of things so apparently she must have found the whole um just fine so you know i said to her i asked her you know just like curiosity what was her name and she told me her name was victoria and i was just um like oh okay that's a, a really nice name victoria i just wanted her name because i was like i said i was going to report her and i was like well it seems like you found the whole just fine um, I said, what you said to me was very disrespectful and hurting. Um, you know, I don't appreciate anybody talking to me in that um, manner. And, you know, she was like mumbling something underneath of her breath. And I said, I, I said, you owe me an apology. I said, because you hurt my feelings, you know. So in this time that I've been alone, um, it was my time for me to spend with God. That's what this whole process was for. 
um, was spending time with God and me strengthening my life um, with him. But meanwhile, um, she gave some kind of cockamamie apology, but it wasn't an apology. It wasn't an apology at all. So I just said to myself, let me just hurry up and get on up out of here, go to the bathroom and, you know, go on about my business. So Alexis had to come back in. I was in the bathroom when Alexis had came back in um, to help me put my clothes back on because my arms are not strong enough. They are movable. Thank you, Jesus. They can move and everything. They're just, the nerves is just gone. So Alexis was helping me put my um, pants back on, um, my shorts back on because I really wanted to wear a skirt, something that I could just slip out some, you know, the drawers and, you know, slip them back up and keep on going on. But that didn't happen because I couldn't get in the closet to find it. So needless to say, the results came back from the um, ultrasound and the ultrasound showed something, but they wasn't sure what it showed. Um, they said that my uterine walls were very, very thick. They were past the um, numbers that they should be. So I have to like quickly get an MRI to um, see what is going down there in the female parts and um, also go and get some kind of biopsy. She said, and I was like, well, I do remember one time I had to get a colposcopy and she was like, no, it's not. Um, she said, it's something similar to a colposcopy, but it's a little bit more invasive um, where they have to go in and do some clippings to get by to get the biopsies and, you know, do some scraping and all of this other stuff. So I made the appointment, someone called me to make the appointment for the MRI. The MRI is set for September the 7th, but I call every day to see if anyone has canceled. Um, and then I also have them, they also have me on the waiting list um, to go in and um, if someone does cancel to call because it's like an emergency, I guess. Um, so, they're looking to see if I have cancer or if it's just fibroids or if it's just scar tissue from when I had two C-sections. Um, those things could um, play a part in this, whatever is going on down, down there. But um, I'm in menopause, so there's no vaginal flow she's gone murray has exited the building so i was like well i don't have any problems i don't feel anything um you know everything is the same i'm not active with anybody um this that and the other so um i don't know so you know most people would freak out but i know my god is all knowing and i don't i'm just you know, taking it just like how it is, you know. Um, I have an appointment on the 25th of um, this month, not only with just her, but I also have to go and see my um, primary care because I haven't seen her in over uh, two to three years now. Yeah, I think it's been like three years, maybe longer. Um, you know, I have to go and see her so that I can get all of the medications and stuff that I need um, to be filled um, for my next um, time that they need to be filled. Um, as far as my mouth is concerned, as you all can see, it looks like I'm talking normal, but you know how you can like chomp down. I can't even chomp down when I chomp down like this. Okay. It's like all of this. My face is still um, swollen from all of what's going on in my mouth. Um, and this is like an update video. Um, like I said, I'm not too much worried about what the biopsy is going to come back and say. If it comes back and say that, you know, 
I do have cancer or whatever the case may be, you know, I just leave it in the Lord's hands because, um, like I said, he's all knowing and he's going to be there to fight on my behalf. You know, I, I just don't know. Um, there's no questions that I can give at this, answers that I can give at this particular time. Um, until the 25th of July, um, when I go and get the test done. And I'm quite sure that they're probably not going to have the results right then and there. That's probably going to take some time. But yet, we still have to wait on, um, the ultrasound. I mean, the MRI. The MRI so that they can see exactly what's going on. And as far as the MRI is concerned... Um, I was like, lady, <laughs> let me tell you, <laughs> your girl is not the one for the MRI, okay? So she's already put in a prescription for um, some, I can't even remember what the name of the medicine is, but I know I've, I've had it before. Um, but she only prescribed one pill. And normally they subscribe me too. So when I go see her on the 25th, I'll let her know that, you know, generally that they, they give me two because I'll be zapping out in that machine. I'm that claustrophobic. So I had to take like one when I'm like halfway close to the facility. And then when I about to, once I get to the facility and sign in, I have to take the other pill. So that, you know, gives it enough time to do what it has to do. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. Um, now, what else has been going on with me? Just stay tuned for part two because this is the medical part of what I, um, needs to be talked about. Um, oh, we're not even done with the medical yet. I'm sorry. Also, with the medical, I did do um, some blood work. I did two rounds of blood work. Give me just one second. Let me get a swallow. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is real life. Oh, little pieces of ice are so good. Um... The medical part of the blood test, the first part where we were just checking on the liver, um, my kidneys, my thyroid, um, iron, those type of things. And the only thing that really came back that was bad was um, my iron is significantly low so i definitely have to go and get um eye infusions um there's a prescription in there for five of them i haven't even gone to get one of them yet but i believe on the 25th i will um get to the doctor's office um around 11 and i will see her and then i will go across the hall and get the eye infusion done and then when I leave from the eye infusion, I will go and get the, um, the biopsy done. Now, I don't even know if they give you like any, what kind of, if there's, um, if the procedure, um, calls for like pain, um, you know, medication while you're there. I don't know, but she did say take three 200 um, ibuprofens um, before I come. And I wrote her back and said, well, that won't be happening because I'm allergic to ibuprofen and NSAIDs and anything that has that kind of stuff in it. I'm allergic to it, um, so that won't be happening. Um, next, um, we did the vitamins. I had to do have somebody come out, a friend of mine, she drew the blood because she's a phlebotomist. She came um, over and she did 
that for me and she dropped it off at Kaiser for me as well. That was such a blessing. Thank you, Dion. I appreciate you, girl. I love you so much. Um, I was able to get that done with through her. And uh, the only thing that really came back bad was my vitamin D, um, which is normal. Um, I had to get some pills for that. Uh, matter of fact, after I do this video, I'll need to take that pill because I forgot. Um, other than that, um, all of the other blood was fine. Um, I don't have diabetes or cardiac, um, high blood pressure, hyperthyroidism, none of that thing, none of those things. Um, everything is perfect, no high cholesterol or anything um, of that nature. So yeah that's what's going on with me um physically you know so just stay tuned for part two of this video um be on the lookout um thank you all for listening this is a medical update um again so i'm just you know taking it in as it comes i am still looking for a place to move um i'm gonna have to move anyway from what i understand they have to do some major construction on the outside of this building that i am in um so i have to move anyway because the major construction um is going to be too much dust and um the building could could collapse while I am in here while they are doing the construction so everyone has to move out um so that's a good thing um so I'm just trusting God and believing by faith that I will find a place um like ASAP um so I will see you all for part two of this video See you later, my little bosses. Be blessed.